Grand Rapids Ballet Company's performance of the Nutcracker returns to DeVos Performance Hall for the first time since 2019. The Grand Rapids holiday tradition has been halted because of the pandemic. 13 on your side's Elena Holland visited a rehearsal as they prepare to debut the show on Friday. There is magic in a live performance. Everyone hushes down at the same time, the lights dim, the orchestra comes to life. It, they transport you, they take you to another place. A place artistic director, James Safranco, has not been in two years. As it feels like it's in our blood, the nutcracker's in our blood. Now the sugar plum fairy. I've always enjoyed doing because it's just the elegance of the femininity. Her cavalier. It's very regal, um, princely, I would say. And the rest of the characters will return to the stage at DeVos Performance Hall. Last year, the dancers battled another rat king. Being at home on Zoom is not the same in your little house. Trying to do bar or jumping wasn't really an option. <laughs> when I was away from dance during the whole pandemic, I felt like I had lost a big part of myself. But now... I feel like myself again. The Grand Rapids Ballet Company is the only professional company in Michigan, and the Nutcracker holds its own power year after year. It is our largest ticket seller of the year, so Nutcracker is important to uh, our existence, and the, it's, it, it's the way that we are able to do our other programs in the year, too. For those sitting in the stands, the show has another power. The Nutcracker has become this sort of holiday tradition that um, generations and generations keep going to see, and they bring their kids to see it. For the first time in 24 months, as Clara's Nutcracker comes to life, magic lies behind the curtain. I think the Nutcracker this year is going to be even more magical than normal. <laughs> Performances start Friday and last through the 19th, and this year there is a virtual option for $25. But if you plan to visit a show at DeVos Performance Hall, make sure to bring proof of a COVID-19 vaccination or a recent negative test and a face mask.